Huge update for you guys today. Those using the Predator X manual entry system just got some nice new upgrades that are going to take your trading to the next level in terms of how easy and how fast we can set custom manual orders. If you're new here, the Predator X is a multi-purpose order entry and management tool for NinjaTrader that allows users to create a variety of full or semi-automated trading strategies. It comes loaded with a ton of customizable features. You can do things like automate many of your favorite third-party indicator signals. You can also easily add many additional filters like time limits or PNL kill switches all at the click of a button. And like we're going to talk about in this video, it also comes with a ton of customizable manual entry features as well. And this will allow you to create your perfect breakout or pullback manual entry order. So if you're already a lifetime member, go to our website and get your free upgrade. Or if you're looking for a free trial or looking for a discord where you can find more info or ask questions, links for everything are going to be down below. But with that, let's get right into the new features. For our first new feature, it has to do with the Predator's manual entry lines. Now, these lines are not new to the Predator, but what we've added to these lines is going to make your life a whole lot easier. So these lines are used to customize where you want your entry and where you want your stop before the Predator actually takes a trade. To set those entry lines, we just click on the little eye icon next to the buy high button, and it's going to automatically set your entry and your stop. And if you've used the Predator in the past, you'll now notice we have a profit target added as well. And yes, just like your stop line where you could easily move it where you want to set your stop, you can do just the same with your profit target. And when you're ready to enter a trade, you can just click that button and it's going to set your stop and your profit targets exactly where you define them. But we've also included many other things as well. Let's get out of here and set our lines as well. And again, if you've used this in the past, you'll notice the labels are a lot cleaner now. In the previous versions, it was a little bit bulky with how the labels were displayed. In this version, we wanted to clean it up while still maintaining as much information as possible. So let's take a little bit of a closer look. I'm going to expand my order management and I'm going to add a few more targets. So what are you going to see with these new labels? You can see the total quantity that entry line is going to enter with. So that is a sum of all of your targets. Each target is also going to display the quantity for each one. So if I was to change target number two to a quantity of two, that's going to update immediately. Same thing with quantity three. That's just going to update that and each profit target is going to have that set quantity. You'll also notice next to it is going to display how much you gain to win if the price was to hit that profit target. So as you can see, as you move up and down, you're going to change the dollar value for each one. And that is based on the distance and the quantity for that specific target. And it's the same thing for your stop loss as well. You'll be able to see how much you stand to lose if you were to get stopped out with this full amount. As you move it up and down, you're going to see that value change. And of course guys, this works whether you're in a custom quantity or if you want the predator to automatically calculate your position size. So if we change it to an auto position size, it's again, as you move the line up and down, you're also going to see your contracts change for each specific target. So if we were to set, let's say, Maybe our stop will be set right here. We enter long. It's going to set your stop loss and all your profit targets exactly where we define them with the correct position size for each specific target. But that's not all, it gets a lot better. Let's set our entry lines again. And let's go back to our profit targets here. You'll notice it's going to display the profit target distance based on the entry line. So if you have it set at 25 ticks, it's going to display 25 ticks. Same with 50 ticks, 100 ticks. So let's say we want to change this to a risk to reward of one. That's going to automatically update. So that one, again, set to 50 ticks. And we can do that to all of these as well. So now it's going to maintain that risk to reward of one, two, three, or whatever number you want. So let's say 
I don't know, we want 1.5. We update that and it's going to automatically set your profit target right where we want. And of course, we can adjust all of these and it's going to show the exact risk to reward. Again, it's just based on whatever you have selected as the profit target. That's the value that is going to display. So as you move it up and down, you can do that as well. And if you move your stop order as well, that's also going to affect your risk to reward. So it's going to change all of these. But you may ask, Dre, what if I want to maintain my one-to-one -one risk to reward on every single trade or my two-to-one, three-to-one, whatever it may be. I want to retain that same risk to reward as I move my entry or I move my stop. Don't worry, we thought of that as well. And that is where these new buttons come into play. So you're going to see this SL for stop loss or your take profit button over here. What this is going to do is they're just going to lock in the value for the entry line as you have them selected. All right, so let me run through a few examples of how these buttons work. So right now I can move my entry line up and down and my profit targets and stop loss are going to remain exactly where we set them initially. So what the stop loss button is going to do, let me reset those. I'm going to click the stop loss button. It's going to turn orange. That means it's active. That means the stop loss is locked to my entry. And now it's going to retain that same distance no matter where I move my entry. So I can move it up and down and it's always going to stay at that 50 tick mark. Now, of course, sometimes you want to move your stop loss anyways. Even if it's locked, you're still going to be able to adjust it, move it exactly where you want. So let's say you want, I don't know, 127 ticks or whatever it may be. And now as it remains locked to your entry, it's just going to retain that new distance. So you can move up and down, it doesn't matter. It's always going to be that same distance while it's locked. And if you unlock it, it's just going to stay right where you left it. So again, it's just a way to lock that stop loss in place. Now, let me reset these lines. And it's the same thing for your profit targets. Right now, we can move up and down just as we please it's not going to change those profit targets. So if we click that TP button, now let's move, let's say our stop, and I'm going to zoom out a bit. So as we move the stop up and down, it's going to retain that same risk to reward value that we defined. And this is going to retain any value that we select in here. So if we have, let's say ticks selected, then it's not really going to matter too much because it's always going to be 25 ticks from that entry line. But something like risk to reward, where it's based on the distance between the stop and the entry, that is again going to adjust based on whatever value we have it locked into. So let's say we want to enter a trade right at the breakout of this pivot here, and we want to set a stop right under this little swing. So from here, you can just either click enter long or we could use the buy high button. And once the price touches that entry line, it's going to enter you into the trade with whatever position size you defined. It's going to set your profit targets exactly where you define them as well. And of course, guys, you can control your trade. You can set any trail stops, any extra management that you want all available within the properties as well. All right, so we're able to set a custom entry, custom stop, and custom profit targets all before we even enter a trade. But something that comes up quite a bit is the ability to set a custom profit or stop order while using some sort of an auto entry. So in previous versions, this was just not possible. But we've made an update in this latest version to make this happen. So how does this work? Let's say you have an auto entry, go to your line selector, and it must be set to current price. This is going to actually track the current price as it updates. You can lock in your profit targets so they keep adjusting with your entry line. You can also lock your stop loss, but what I find is most helpful, let's say we want to set our stop to the bottom of these pivots here. We can just set our line on the chart and then we can just simply move 
the stop order and set it exactly where we want. So let's say I want to put it right at the bottom of this little pivot here. Now my entry lines and my profit targets are going to constantly keep updating while my stop loss remains stationary. So let me speed this up. And now once we get our auto entry signal, in this case, it's a NINSA indicator, it automatically enters the trade with any profit targets we select, sets our stop exactly where we defined. And that way we don't have to rely on just a regular stop loss. We can actually use the chart to set our stop exactly where we need it. If we find some sort of a pivot gives us an advantage or really whatever it may be, you now have that option. So with that, that brings us to our final update. All right, now let's move on to the final feature of this update. And this is one I know a lot of you guys have been asking for. And with this last update, there's really two parts to it. The first part comes with the ability to enter quickly on a chart. While the entry lines work great and you can use them to set up pretty much any order that you like, whether that's a breakout or a pullback, they can sometimes take a little bit longer to set up because they require a few extra clicks. And the second part of this update has to do with hotkeys. So the ability to simply be able to just push a button on your keyboard or even use one of these nice little stream decks. So what we did with this final update is we just combined both of these together. So what we've added is a click chart trader. So I'm just going to talk about how it works and how we can configure it so it meets our needs. So all this feature does is it gives you the ability to click anywhere on your chart and it's going to automatically place either a stop market order or a limit order, depending on where you set it on the chart. So as an example, if we're going into a long position and I click under the current price, it's going to submit a limit order. That's with any management we have selected within the panel. If I were to go above the current price, it will automatically turn into a stop market order. And that way we can catch that breakout. Now, of course, you can retain your same profit target, stop loss, anything that you want. You can lock them in place. You can move the entry line. Make sure you do not move the actual order itself. Move the entry line. If you go under, it's automatically going to update to a limit order. So that way, if you want to change from a breakout to some sort of a pullback entry, it's going to automatically handle all of that for you. Now, let's say we want to add more targets. It's going to automatically update your order with any targets that you have. Same with the position size. If you add more, it's going to automatically adjust that. Let's say we're going back above and let's move these profit targets. They weren't locked, so that's why they were not moving. So let's adjust all of these. So again, just like we showed in previous examples, you can move your stop lines around depending if they're locked or not. And you can either move that entry line above or below, or if you want to submit a new order, all you have to do is press control shift left click is for longs. If you want to go short, you just have to cancel your trade and then you can do the complete opposite control shift right click for shorts. It's going to submit a limit order above the price. If you were to go below the price with a short entry, it's going to automatically adjust that to a sell stop order. And again, you can configure this just the same. So you may be asking, Dre, what if I don't want to use a stop market order? I prefer stop limits. Well, with the click trader, it doesn't use your regular order types. These are actually handled in a different way. To change that, just go into the strategy properties. We'll have to select these within the properties before we enable it, just because these have a little bit different entry handling. Just go into your manual entry section. Under the click trader type, for the breakout, you can select stop market or stop limit. And for the pullback, you can select either a limit order 
or an MIT market if touched. So let's see how that looks. Enable it on the chart. And now same thing, control shift and left click above for long. You're going to get a stop limit order or control shift left click below. And it's going to change to an MIT order. Or again, if we were to go short, just cancel out that trade. If you go below the price, stop limit order short. Above the price, it's an MIT market if touched order. And yes, all of these will work with an auto position size as well. So as we start moving our order, you will see once we let go, it's automatically going to adjust those orders for you as well. So it doesn't matter where you set it. If we come up here, it's going to automatically adjust based on your risk parameters. And now guys, this is kind of where I need your help with the next update coming out after this one. So in this update, we added one more hotkey and that is control shift and X. And what that's going to do is it's just going to execute your flatten all button. But I know over the last few years, I've gotten a lot of requests to add hotkeys into the Predator. So I wanted to start off with just these few options for now. But I want to hear from all of you who are using hotkeys. I want to know what kind of keys on your keyboard make the most sense for each button. So if there was something you guys had in mind, please let me know. I'm going to create a room on the Discord for the lifetime members. And I want to hear your suggestions in that room for what hotkey combination should be default for each button that you guys want to use. So if you want a specific button for, let's say the enter long, or maybe one that will execute the buy high button, or maybe you also want buttons that are going to automatically add on to your position or even move your stop up or down or to break even. Again, guys, I know we get traders from many different groups. Everyone has a different trading style. So my goal with this is to get a collection of what kind of makes the most sense for the majority of users and then make those the default buttons. But don't worry, I'm going to also make all of this customizable as well. I already started down here. If you guys want to adjust any of these current hotkeys, you'll be able to type in anything that you want, but I just want to get the main ones as default. That way it's pretty consistent for everybody as well. So I think that just about covers everything with this latest update. I really hope you guys found this video useful. There's a lot more information in our discord, or you can email me support at tradesaber.com if you have any questions, but I'm going to leave it at that. Again, hope you found this video useful. As always, take care, enjoy.